Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. All right, I've got another top nine workout for you. Previously, I did a top nine legs, a top nine upper body. So if you wanna check those out, you can check in the description below, or there's one at the card at the top of the screen right there. But today we're gonna to do top nine abs. So I've chosen my top nine ab exercises. We're gonna do them all in a row once, and then we'll repeat two additional times for a total of around 30 minutes. Should be a great workout. I'm gonna use some lighter dumbbells for some of the exercises. So feel free to add those if you wish. And I will start you with a warm up and we'll end with a cool down. The format for the workout is gonna be harder with that 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between. I don't know about you, but 45 seconds on the abs is a lot. So rest as you need. All right, ready to move daily? Me too, let's do it. abs. I'm just going to put strength on my watch, but we will warm things up here. Uh, I'm just going to get the blood flowing a little bit too, just to make sure that the whole body's warm before we start with this sequence here. Normally I do abs with something else, like abs and cardio, or add them onto another strength work workout. But all abs today, this means I really, I want to be warm and ready to go. All right. All right. Take it wide. Let's touch the toes. I know we all have our favorites. I, I've tried to add just a variety so that we're, you know, on our backs, then on our front area, and then on our side, and just so it's not all of the same. But like I said, I know it's gonna be a lot of work for those little, <laughs> those little abs. Side to side, if you can't get down low, and then just stay up high and give it a nice rock. Just warming everything up here a little bit. I will be going snowshoeing later today. I don't know if you've tried that or if you have snow in your area or if it's summer for you down under. <laughs> I know a lot of our members are down under and are scorching right now. If only. <laughs> we always have what we don't want in the moment, don't we? All right, uh, let's roll those shoulders back. In front. And tap across, reach, stretch those obliques here a bit. And up and over. Good, circles here. Then switch directions. Take a wide stance. Just reach. Good, swing around the front, other side, and reach. Again. And one more here, reach. Very good. And finishing with some heel digs here. And let's just finish with this guy. Okay, again, there's all nine exercises, 45 seconds each, rest as you need. Otherwise, I'm gonna go through the whole thing and then take a little water rest after the first round. Ready? Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna bring a 15 and some fives down to the ground. Starting with that ab rollout. All right, or roll up, with or without a weight. Dumbbell at the chest, and we roll for four, three, two, one, and sit right here.
set that weight down. I'm going into that um, bear crawl, but you could do a dead bug here, opposite hand and leg, if the bear crawl hurts your wrists. Otherwise, here we go. And we step opposite hand and foot at the same time. And you're going forward and then back. Don't take huge steps, just little guys. And you really want to keep that tabletop position on your back. Don't let it sag. Don't let your butt come up. It's like your table here. Really do try to lift your opposite hand and foot up at the exact same time. So that you're on two appendages and that's the, that's the fight, that's the balance there. That's what we're working for. Very lovely. All right, into your starfish pass. One dumbbell here. Now you can stay on your back and just hit an opposite hand to toe tap to modify if you'd like. All right, tap right here and then back up and pass under. Other side, tap and pass under. Okay, very good. Going into your Russian twist toe tap. So I will take my five, one five. You're gonna twist for four, and then a toe tap there. Shoulders back. So you're one, two, three, four, and tap right here. Four, three, two, one, and tap other side. Of course, you could lift your legs off the ground the entire time. Uh, it's modifying for me. There's plenty. Four, three, two, and reach and tap. Good, using a little bit of obliques, of course, and lower abs when we lift that leg. Into your boat rocker press. I'm gonna use just the one dumbbell. Feet come to 45, you're gonna sit and press. I'll call halfway, we'll switch legs, arms, here we go. And we rock and press right there. That's it. Sit tall. So you really do want to make sure those legs are just coming to a 45 degree angle. Okay, you don't want to use much momentum. Switch arms. I really want to use those abs to help get it up there. And into your Side plank pulse. So you can mod with your leg in front. You can mod from the knees. I will call half and we'll switch sides. So make that a quick one. And we pulse, pulse. Okay, or you're here. That hurts your elbow. This is an easier position for sure. Little ones, let's go. Four, three, two, one, and switch. Plank right here and pulse. Okay. 
<laughs> there we go. All right, going into your plank dumbbell drag. Dumbbells here, plank position from the knees or toes. We're gonna drag the dumbbell across the mat. Bum is down and drag here. Other side, drag. The key is not to lift the hips up and rotate the body. All right, try to keep the hips facing your mat. your back again with your full sit up knee in to modify stay on your back just draw alternating knees in and work sit and knee and switch up finishing off with your V-sit leg drop. So you're gonna be on your side, we're gonna V-sit up, leg drops up, and then you're back down here. All right, again, I'll call half. V-sit here, everything is up, leg drop, and down. Up, leg drop, and down. Last one, and switch, here we go, V-sit, up, other side leg drop, and down. There's one, round one, not too bad. Okay, quick sip. Join me back for our second circuit. Whew. Round two, back to my ab roll up. With or without that dumbbell, I'll hold the 15 again, right at the chest, super slow on the descent. So count to four, then sit up, crunch if you need to mod. So you're slow. Two, three, four, and sit. The slower you do this one, the more you're recruiting that muscle in the eccentric phase, which is just fabulous for that muscle fiber recruitment. into your bear crawl or dead bug. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, opposite hand and foot step. Super flat back and work. We step, 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 step and back. Just take little steps on the way back. Okay, push up through the shoulder blades.
Huh. Very nice. Moving into your starfish pass. I'll just use the one. I'm going to tap first, pass under. All right, on your back if you need to mod. And up we go. We tap and then pass under, switch hands, tap and pass under. Okay, into your four Russian twists with that toe tap again. Right, your feet can be off the ground if you want to make it more challenging. I'll hold the one five, lean back, and your four, three, two, one hand to toe, four, three, two, other side, and tap. back to back our work. All right, let's go into your boat rocker press. I'm gonna hold the five. As I sit up, I press, I'll call half. And work, straight up. Last one on this side, switch hands. Nice, into your side plank pulse. Call half. We'll make that quick switch. All right, pulse it here and your pulse. Good. Four, three, two, one, and switch and pulse. Nice. Moving into that plank dumbbell drag, holding that five. Again, from the knees or toes, Bum is down, side to side, and work.
Okay, moving into that. Sit up with the knee in. Remember, you can do this on the ground, just driving that knee in, alternating sides. Otherwise, sit things up and work. You're here and switch. Okay, this last one, the V-sit leg drop. New one for me, I quite liked it though. Let's give it a go. I'll call half. Hand overhead, V-sit here. Up, leg, and down. Up, leg, down. I'm just enough on my glute cheek that I'm not on that bone. I'm right on the meaty part. And switch. Here we go. Reach up, leg. Reach up. Boom. Okay, one more round. This is fun. I thought it would be harder. I'm okay so far. How are you guys doing? All right, round three. Round three, I will go with the same weight amounts. Everything felt pretty good to me. Again, that back to back with that uh, Russian twist and starfish are killer, but only one more round. We got this. Roll it up, here we go, for four, three, two, one, and up. Okay, bear crawl, or your dead bug. Both are challenging. This is just a little harder on the wrists, but I do love the bear crawl, such a good exercise. Back is flat, and we step. Nice into your starfish. I'll stick with the five. Tap and pass.
<laughs> into that Russian twist toe tap. Again, I'll stick with the five. Back is tall. Lean it back, stick your chest out. And four, three, two, one, and tap right here. Four, three, two, one, and tap. Boat rocker pressed. Very nice. I'm just gonna give my knees a hug for two seconds here. Oh, can't wait to stretch this out. <laughs> Get ready. I'll call half. Switch. Into your side plank pulse. Okay. Again, I will call half, quick switch, and we pulse. And switch your side. Into that plank dumbbell drag. All right, holding that five. Plank position, dragging it across. Try not to rock those hips. Move it into your plank knee, or sorry, your sit up knee in. Alternating sides and sit.
Final exercise with that V-sit leg drop. This one is fun, I'll definitely do this one again. Actually, I enjoyed this whole thing. It was not horrible. <laughs> Here we go, and V-sit, up, leg, up and down. Last one here, flip it. Last 10 seconds, folks. Stay with me, almost there. Mm. Work hard now. In three, two, one and done. You move daily in your top nine ab exercises. Thanks for joining everyone. I hope you enjoyed the workout. I'm gonna stretch things out, stay with me on the ground here, and we'll do that right now. Let's start this stretch with just a nice grab of those knees. Some little circles on that lower back here. Very nice. Oh, that feels good. Switch directions. Great to do just an isolated ab. Um, yeah, I honestly, my brain, let's put the knees to 90 degrees, let the legs fall gently to the side and try to keep your shoulder blades on the ground. In my brain, I thought, oh, 45 seconds of abs is hard to hold. And then 30 minutes of that, how am I gonna do it? But the break in between and then switching up, you know, what we did, that, that was really good. That helped me a lot. Here, switch sides. So yeah, that's a good thing to incorporate you know, when you use resistance on your abs, whether that be body weight or dumbbells, you know, that's more tension, of course, on the muscle fibers. And for a lot of people, if you don't use any resistance or added resistance, body excess body weight, like when you're doing a hanging leg raise and you use your own leg amount, a lot of people won't feel necessarily, let's just do a hamstring stretch here their abs the next day, right? You're so accustomed to doing them, you use them all the time, so they're very well trained. And so there's not a lot that could make you feel like you've activated them or used them or made them sore. But when you add resistance, you know, like even doing that ab roll up, right? You could increase the resistance on that by going on a decline bench. And now you're lengthening that abdominal wall out far more than you are when you do it on the ground. But plus now you're fighting gravity with resistance if you have that dumbbell on your chest still. And, uh, and you'll, you'll definitely notice that muscle fiber recruitment and the feel in your abs the next day if you challenge yourself uh, in that regard. But I don't have a decline bench, so it's kind of, I can't do that. I do have a hanging bar though, a bar, and I used to do hanging leg raises all the time. Let's push up into cat and cow here. And I really did love them. I should add them back. The thing is I've stopped doing some of the things that I know are really beneficial because most people don't have a bar in their home gym, right? So they have dumbbells. So then I've tried to do other things. And while, you know, doing like a leg lift up to cat and cow again is beneficial, a hanging leg raise is gonna add more tension. And so even buying one of those bars that you can put up in your door jam, like in between your door, might be a good thing to add to your home gym. Um, you could just do hangs, right? Dead hangs where you're just hanging on there and you're training your grip strength. That's brilliant. That's a great thing to practice. And then again, doing things like pull-ups, chin-ups, which I've gotten away from because I haven't had the bar for a long, long time. So. I think those things are important. I mean, is it my goal to be able to do chin-ups and pull-ups again? Not really, but I do wanna keep all of the muscles able. Do you know what I mean? And so I'm gonna do as much as I can with what I have. And then, you know, if there's other ways that I can increase my strength um, by purchasing a few things, maybe a few heavier dumbbells or a bar or more bands to add that, resistance, that push and pull resistance, I think that's a really good idea. And I'm gonna to try to do that myself as well. So I have a bar right now. 
I'm gonna go do a bunch of little hanging right leg raises where I'm just hanging, bringing my knees up, bringing straight legs up, twisting in that corkscrew, and uh, just adding on maybe three, four, five minutes more of abs here for myself. Thanks for moving daily with me. I'll see you in the next workout.